Introducing Grilled Caesar Asparagus, a delicious twist on classic asparagus with the savory taste of Caesar dressing. Hi everyone, welcome to today's episode of Let's Celebrate TV. I'm your host, Peter Lee. Today, our celebration is all about asparagus. We're making grilled Caesar asparagus. So let's get started. All right, grilled Caesar asparagus, what is it? This takes two of my all-time favorite things, grilled asparagus and the flavors of a Caesar salad, and it brings them all together in one dish. It's really easy and super delicious. I'm going to get this heating up. While my pan heats up, we need to make the dressing. I have here a nice size bowl. We're going to start with some fresh lemon juice. Two tablespoons. One large egg yolk. Garlic is next. The Caesar salad has to have garlic. I have two cloves here that I just finely minced up. Right in. Next up is Worcester sauce, or Worcestershire sauce, two teaspoons. Dijon mustard is next. More flavor, the egg and the Dijon is going to help us all emulsify together and stay together as a dressing instead of just oil and vinegar. Now next up, a little controversy, I have anchovies. Two finely minced anchovies. Now, before you go, oh, they're gross, blech. If you don't use them, you're going to miss them. They just add in the background. They add lots of depth of flavor. So I always like to use them. I don't like to eat them. But in things like this, I really do like them. Now, we need to add, believe it or not, just a little more salt. Just a half teaspoon. And then some pepper. I have just a quarter teaspoon of ground black pepper. And we're just going to whisk this to combine. Next up is olive oil. Four ounces, 120 mils of my favorite extra virgin olive oil. Now I'm going to slowly drizzle this in. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to whisk this constantly. And that's going to help this lemon juice and other ingredients emulsify with the oil. Now you see this is holding together as a dressing. It's not separating right away. One more thing to add. This is going to add more depth of flavor, a little nuttiness, a little texture. And that is a quarter cup or 35 grams of grated Parmesan. Right in. Quick whisk. All right. Now I'm going to put this aside for a few minutes and let it just kind of marry together. Next up are croutons. I have here some baguette slices. A baguette is those long French loaves of bread you see in the markets. I just took maybe about a half of one. I cut it on the diagonal or on the bias, kind of thick. All I want to do is give these a quick brush with a little more extra virgin olive oil. I've got about three tablespoons here. I may not use it all. All right, I'm going to put these on my grill pan. I'll give the other side a quick paint. And I'm just going to grill these for a few minutes until they're toasty and brown, hopefully have some grill marks. All right, these will just take a couple of minutes. Watch them like a hawk. All right, it's been just a few minutes. My bread is all nice and grilled and toasted. This is not a hard toast. I got some grill marks. I'm just going to tear this into bite-sized pieces. You could be refined and refrained and cut it up into nice cubes. But I kind of like the irregular shapes and texture you'll get. I don't like to use the word rustic. I think it's used a little too often. 
Plus there's something satisfying about ripping up this bread, playing with your food, I suppose. All right, there we go. Okay, that's our croutons all ready. Let's put these aside. This is an asparagus dish, isn't it? Let's talk asparagus. I have some beautiful asparagus here, about a pound. This is how it comes in the store or from your farmer's market. And these are all trimmed. How did I get there? I like to take the asparagus, and there's one end that's always woody, and this is the, near the root, near the ground. It's really not good to eat. It's very dry and hard. So I like to just bend it, and wherever it breaks naturally is where I cut it. So then I'll just take my knife and cut the rest of the bunch to match that. I'm gonna put my heat under my pan again. We need to give this a little flavor. Remember that dressing that we made? I just need a spoonful or so. So I drizzle it on, maybe a couple. And we're going to give these all a toss. It doesn't have to be perfectly coating every inch, but this is going to add flavor and help it grill a little bit. All right, right in our pan. Now these are going to take, these are kind of thin, so probably three or four minutes. If they were thicker, they may take five minutes. You really just want them heated through maybe some grill marks on them. And of course, using a pan like this, you may have to do it in batches, but it, that's not a hardship. Now how will you know when this is done? It's going to look cooked. It's gonna to start to shrivel up a bit and hopefully have some char marks. But you know what the best way? You're a chef at home, you taste it. Pull one out, give it a taste, and if it's where you like it, then it's done. It took less than five minutes. Here we are, right out of the pan. Now these are vibrant green. They've got some char marks on them, just what I wanted. And I tasted one, still had a tiny little bit of crunch to it. It wasn't soft and mushy, but it was tender. There's a big difference. So let's assemble the rest of this. We're gonna come back to our dressing. This makes a lot of dressing, this recipe. So you may not want to use all of it, but I'm going to put a generous amount, just like that, and then some croutons, and you know, scattered about, messily, artfully. Now I have some more cheese, some more of that Parmesan that I just grated. Look at that, let's make it snow. Looks pretty good to me. So now I think it's time for a taste. Grab my little napkin, and in this case, Ms. Manners will forgive me for what I'm about to do. I'm gonna use my hands. Mmm. <laughs> wow. Mmm. That's so darn good. Two of my favorite things, fresh asparagus and the flavors of Caesar salad. I need a little Cabernet Franc to wash this down. All right, if you like this episode, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and hit that notification bell, and you'll get a new episode every single week. Now I'm gonna go eat some of this asparagus and really enjoy it while I do I want you to watch some of these episodes over here. So until next time, everyone, cheers.